This is it. This is the game we have been waiting for, for two whole years. This is the game that last year's team should have been in, but never got the chance. This is the moment we have been preparing for. The two-a-days, waking up before light comes up, the extra reps when lifting, the tweaks in the game plans, the emotional prep talks, this is it. This is everything all bundled into one. This is the game. The game where you leave your legacy. The game that makes one of the best teams ever instead of just another good team. This is it. This is the moment. Will the Jayhawks seize the moment or just let it slip away? Welcome to 688 The Bull Radio, Kansas Jayhawk football press conference with head coach Slacker Gaming. Coach, this is it. This is the game you've been waiting for all year long. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm just hoping the guys are as well. Uh, we worked hard all this weeks on on the game plan, and and we really feel confident in our team to be able to make it work. Um, just super proud of the guys and the young group of men that that I, we put on the field, and I couldn't be happier for them. And and the fact that they get the chance to play this um, this is a game of their lives so far. Coach, do you feel like your team is a favorite in this matchup? Vegas has the odds in Bama's favor. I feel like. I get to coach one of the best teams in the nation, and today we have a chance to prove it. So I don't think that this game has a favorite because a favorite would basically be saying that this team should win or this team should lose. And I don't e- think either team should win. I think where whoever executes more and has a better game plan and makes plays will win this one. Do I believe we will win? Yes, but I also think we we'll always win. That's my job. Thank you, Coach, and good luck. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. These two are the best teams in college football. Tonight, only one will emerge victorious. Only one can carry home the trophy. Only one can call themselves national champions. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. It's time for the BCS National Championship. This year, we're in Pasadena, California. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Welcome to 688 The Bull and welcome to the opening kickoff between the Kansas Jayhawks and the Alabama Crimson Tide. National Championship coming your way and Moss returning this one 36 yards on the return to start Kansas off in good field position early. Second and five. Perry, guy in motion. That's a tight end. Perry going to hand this one off to Zap. Zap finds a gap in the middle. He's got a big gain. Nine yards there and a first down for Kansas. Both teams coming in at 14-0 and clearly the best two teams in the nation fighting this one out. Perry, second and eight back. He's going to scramble right. Look, look, he's going to keep this one. Going to get about nine yards and a first down. Third and seven. Perry back looking. He's going to find Zap, and that's not going to be a first down. Only three yards, bringing up a fourth and four opportunity. The field goal is in, and Berg going to take this one. This one not too far away. Should be a chip shot for Berg. It is up and good, and Kansas taking an early 3 to nothing lead on Alabama. Alabama Young going to hand this one off to Robinson. The pitch, he's going to lose five yards after a five-yard false start, and Bama not looking good early here. A five-yard penalty, and now a five-yard loss. Going to have to give the ball back to Kansas. Third and five, Perry changing the play. 
See what he's got drawn up. He throws it to his tight end, Lawrence. Must have saw something, and Lawrence sits in under the zone and gets that reception for first down. Second and 13, Zap in motion. Bailey going to get this handoff. Zap out blocking for him. 13 yards on that run by Tyrell Bailey. Out blocking for him with Zap. Zap going to get the handoff next. It's going to be up 14 yards. And Kansas running it right down the field. Clearly one of the best players in the game. Zap's going to get the pitch here, and he's going to be in for the touchdown. Ben Zap, the three-yard run, and Kansas going to take the lead here in the first quarter, 10 to nothing. An excellent play drawn up there. Zap able to just run in. Third and nine. Bryce Young back, looking, looking. Has all day. He's going to throw the left side. He's going to find his running back in Robinson Jr. Not able to get the first down, fourth and five. Bama going to have to punt this one back away. Perry going to hand this one up to Zap up the middle, and Zap's got a big gain. Another first down for Zap, probably about 12 yards on that rush. He's already got 50 in the game. Third and seven. Perry back at shotgun, looking. He's going to scramble right. He's got pressure. He's going to have to. He looks like he keeps this one and gets the sack. Alabama with the sack, and that's going to be fourth and 11 for Kansas. A punt coming up soon. Looks like Jerome Perry is injured. On the play, so Kansas losing their starting quarterback early in this game. Fourth and 11. The punt is gone, and this one's a good one, but will they be able to stop it before it hits? It hits, and it's down at the one-yard line? Yes, it is down at the one-yard line. Pretty much the hash mark there. A beautiful punt by Kansas, and able to come up with it. And that's going to pin... Alabama really far back obviously wanting to not do that but look at that beautiful touch as it goes over the end zone there and Kansas will have Alabama stuck down in their red zone third and three young gonna hand this one off to Robinson he's up the middle a big gap there for him he's got 10 yards and a first down Alabama needs to get this going otherwise they're gonna get stuck behind Kansas third and 14 Mechie's going to catch this for six yards, but no first down. Alabama going to have to punt again. Kansas third and 11. Hogue back. The backup quarterback. Can he get anything going? The throw is going to be caught by Weems. 19 yards and a first down for Kansas. Kansas trying the best they could do to keep the offense going. And Jay Weems setting another Kansas football record at receiver. A great year from the freshman. Hogue back in shotgun looking. He's going to throw this one. It's going to be intercepted. And that's exactly what we thought was going to happen. The backup quarterback in for Kansas. Not a lot of playing time this year. 53 seconds before halftime. Bryce Young throws to the right. It's going to find Early. Early's going to make two guys miss. He's got some open space. The 50-yard line over the 50. 33 yards for JoJo there. And Bryce Young and the Alabama Crimson Tide look at the score before half. Third and two, throw to the right early again, and another first down, 19 yards for him. Bryce Young by himself in the backfield. He's going to throw this one. It's going to be intercepted by the safety, Darnell Rogers, coming up with the interception. That's huge. Almost in the red zone already was Alabama, and they are not going to get any points in this drive, which they looked very good on, and that's going to be it for the half. We're going in the halftime. Kansas up. 10 to nothing on Alabama. We'll have to see how the second half unfolds. Coming out the second half, both defenses playing very well in the first half. Robinson Jr. going to get a big gain here up the middle. 14 yards on the rush by Robinson. Finding holes. If he gets enough good holes, he can get some good things going there on offense. The throw to the right and a guy wide open. Of course, it's Mechie. Such a good wide receiver. He's going to get 44 yards on that reception and run. Just a broken play from Kansas defense. Bryce Young finds his guy and Mechie makes it happen. First and goal for Alabama. Young going to pitch this one off to Robinson. Robinson going to walk in with this one. Eight-yard touchdown run by Brian Robinson. And the Crimson Tide back in this one, scoring their first touchdown. 7-10, to ten, Kansas up. Hogue is still in. Bailey's going to get the handoff here. He's going to run up the middle for a first down. Ten yards for Tyrell Bailey. Kansas trying to keep the offense simple with the backup in. Guy in motion. Hogue is going to 
do a screen pass to Bailey on the left side. He's got some room. He gets a first down and more. Coming down after 18-yard reception there for Tyrell Bailey. A beautiful screen. The all-out blitz was coming and a beautiful time to run it. They get 18 yards and a first down. Kansas looking to move. Third and five. You know this is a passing down for Kansas. We'll see if Ho can make something happen. He's going to find his tight end. Lawrence makes the catch. Nine-yard reception for Adrian Lawrence. And a beautiful job for him. Hogan, this could be fourth and goal. Huge play here. Bailey gets a handoff, but he's not going to get in. And Alabama Crimson tied. Make the stop needed. Interesting to see why Kansas didn't go for the field goal there and take the three points. I guess they thought that this was a good chance to score seven. Unable to do so, and Alabama looking to take the lead. Third and six, Bryce Young back looking. It's going to be a fumble and going to be up by the offensive lineman, but it's in the end zone. That's a fumble and a safety by Kansas defense. Hugh Bix coming up, knocking the ball out of Bryce Young's hands, recovered by Alabama's offensive line, but in the end zone, that's going to be a safety. And KU gets the ball back. And Ho comes out on offense trying to get something going here for Kansas. And Hogue's going to keep this one for a first down on the option. 11-yard rush for Colt Hogue, the backup quarterback. Hogue's going to hand this one off to Bailey. Bailey's up the middle. He's got a first down. Bailey coming in big this game. The backup running back really coming out big. Seven or 40 yards rushing on seven attempts. Bailey's going to get this hand off as well, and he might be gone, and he's going to be brought down from behind 22 yards on the rush by Tyrell Bailey, having himself a big day. Looks like Hogue almost trusts him more than Zap. Second and goal. Hogue going to hand this one off to Zap up the middle and in for the touchdown. Ben Zap going to run this one in, and a touchdown Kansas, and Kansas pulling away here with their backup quarterback. Third and two in the fourth quarter. Bryce Young needing something to go well here. He's going to break a couple uh, guys' tackles, and he's going up the middle. A big gain for Bryce Young, showing why he was one of the Heisman candidates. We have gotten word back that the injury for Perry is actually a torn ACL, and we'll see him gone for the rest of the game. Let's see if Kansas misses him. Second and eight. Throw to left. Lay two gets it. First down for Alabama. Hurry up offense here on third and 22. After a sack, Bryce Young decided to hand this one off, and he gets nothing. Another four-yard loss in Kansas defense coming up huge this game. Fourth and 26. So this could be it. And Mitch, he's going to catch on the right side. Does he have enough? No. Comes down about two yards short. And Bryce Young finds his wide receiver when he needs to, but unable to get the first down. That's going to be a turnover on downs. And Kansas is going to get the ball back under three minutes left and up by 12. A three and out by the Kansas offense going to lead to the punt and it's going to be muffed by Alabama and it's going to be picked up by Kansas and that about do it Kansas with the turnover there a fumble the, the wide receiver not able to catch it on the punt and Kansas is going to win this one Hogue comes out in victory formation and Kansas is going to seal this one up up 19 to 7 we'll see what they do here with the very last play looks like they're deciding to kick the field goal Berg up and good that's going to be 22 to 7 Kansas taking the lead while well, keeping the lead we'll see if Alabama can do anything to get back in this game third and two for Young he's going to throw right he's going to find Bolden he's got a big game 27 yards and a first down fourth and four three seconds left to go this is it for Alabama Bryce Young probably going to try to throw as deep as he possibly can no he checks it down to Bolden and that's going to be it Slade Bolden taken down but that's it Kansas is going to win this one 22 to 7 behind the amazing defense of Kansas and that's going to lead Kansas to its first national championship ever the big play of the game comes from Hugh Bix the strip fumble for a safety that really set Kansas and their defense up to keep making plays and that's going to be the play of the game and just a huge day after losing their starting quarterback he thought well can they do it their defense held Alabama Crimson Tide, one of the best offenses in the nation, to seven points 
in the national championship. Kansas is going to win this one, 22 to 7, and that's going to be their first national championship. Bid Zap, your player of the game, 30 carries, 114 yards, and two touchdowns. Enough to get the job done. And congratulations, Kansas, on your first national championship. A great job by Slacker head coach Slacker Gaming. And we'll bring you to the press conference very soon. Welcome back to 688 The Bull, Kansas Jayhawk Football Radio. We are with post-game head coach Slacker Gaming. Coach, congratulations on that national title job. Well done. Uh, thank you. I just I want to shout out the young men that played for us, um, what they have done this year and what they have accomplished. I, I also want to thank the coaching staff for the time, the effort, they put in this year to make this happen. Um, it truly goes all out to them. The defense truly won this game as both offenses struggled today. Was that surprising to you to see so much defense and so little offense? Not really. They say defense wins championships, and this is one of the best defenses I have ever coached, if not the best. This defense has been a brick wall all year long and is well deserving of all the all the praise of winning the game. Uh, to hold Alabama to seven points is absolutely insane to see from any team. Jerome Perry went down early in the game with an ACL injury. W were you a little bit frantic, or were you ready to bring up the backup? Well, I'm Hogue has been playing, I mean, all year. I mean, he's been practicing. It's not like we all of a sudden had to switch, you know, like our playbook or anything. Um, he's, a, he's a good young quarterback. We trusted him and, and sending him out there. And, yeah, he did a great job. And... Super proud of him for stepping in in a big situation. And for, for Perry uh, to miss the rest of the game, I know he's he's kind of shook up, but hopefully we can get him back and, and get him feeling better and see him on the field next year. You wanted the title last year, but you got it this year. How do you feel to finally have that national title? Honestly, I'm still shocked. Um, I have no idea how, do I, how I feel. Um, right now I'm just on adrenaline and, and, and just mostly excited for the guys and the coaching staff to see them all grow together and, and come together and accomplish this is just amazing. Um, I'm, I'm mostly speechless when it comes to what has happened and the feelings I have around it. And I'm sure it's going to you know take a couple of days for it to finally set in, but um, super happy with everything. I'm super happy with the year we had uh, with the university and their support and the fans and just how well we played this year. Like I just, it's a dream come true. Congratulations again, coach on the national title. This is 688, the bull Kansas Jayhawk football radio. And we are now national champions. Congrats to the Jayhawks and to coach slacker gaming for an amazing year of football. Your Kansas Jayhawks are national champions. We look forward to seeing you next week to find out where the players will be going and the coaching changes and see which players will be leaving for the draft. Until next week, this is 688 The Bull Kansas Jayhawk Football Radio signing off.